All right, welcome back, everybody. This is Joshua again. You've found Knox Studios. We're in uh, day 10 of this meditation series. 10 out of 12 days. And the big reveal is in these last three days, this is the lead up to my birthday in which a lot of the things that um, are on my heart and where I'm suffering, I've needed to approach from the standpoint of the higher consciousness and the universe as a whole and like recognize that there's so many parts of my life where I just try to run the show and I'm not a perfect human being basically. And what it comes down to is in the form of meditation is the opportunity that I have and that it affords me to take accountability for the shortcomings and the activity of the day. And just building a little bit more intention into that regularly, if not daily, it affords me the ability to progress. If that's not been understood yet, let it be known now. In today's meditation. As in the 10th day, we uh, uncover this policing of the universe. Oh my. Let me introduce the uh, frequency we're dealing with today. Here we go. Hopefully you can hear that okay. I'm going to keep it pretty mild in my ear, but... I want it to match. I want you guys to really feel it. This is an 852 hertz frequency represented by our third eye. And uh, in the third eye, that's where the intuition occurs from a spiritual place too, where our intuition kind of gives us the ability to take accountability for our humanness, but from a divine perspective our sixth chakra center we might become more intuitive of the way that our actions are creating certain ripple effects throughout the universe so with the intention of not policing the universe I introduce a part of a return to love Marianne Williamson page 96 very top of the page. I apologize for anyone offended in regards to some of the verbiage here, but this is just the way the book is written. But God doesn't need us to police the universe. Shaking our finger at someone doesn't help them change. If anything, our perception of someone's guilt only keeps them stuck in it. When we are shaking a finger at someone, figuratively or literally, we are not more apt to correct their wrongful behavior. Treating someone with compassion and forgiveness is much more likely to elicit a healed response. People are less likely to be defensive and more likely to be open to correction. Most of us are aware on some level when we're off. We'd be doing things differently if we knew how. We don't need attack at this point. We need help. Forgiveness forges a new context, one in which someone can more easily change. It goes on. That forgiveness is the choice to see people as they are now. When we are angry at people, we are angry because of something they said or did before this moment. But what people said or did is not who they are. Relationships are born and reborn as we let go of perceptions of our brother's past. By bringing the past into the present, we create a future just like the past. So by letting the past go, we make room for miracles. I hope that that sinks in a bit. As we set our intention in this meditation today, 
and hopefully just in the practice of meditation going forward. This space is reserved for continuous growth. That pain is the touchstone of all spiritual growth. And if you don't know already, meditation is the action of listening to the universe. So I'm going to bring us over here as uh, we introduce the frequency. And I just want to invite you in for this experience of meditating with me um, on a regular basis, if you prefer. You're welcome to like, comment, subscribe, and do all those fun things that YouTube uh, allows me to nudge you towards. But just understand that this is a channel leaning into this perspective of never again hate anything. And to avoid hate means to allow love and allow this growth to occur. So if you do find anything here valuable and like information please leave your comments below as uh, we do have resources for fellowship on Facebook whatsapp and of course here on YouTube for some content so thank you for allowing me to read more get us engaged more to share with you it's been a really long day for me but I am here now however throughout the day I've been various levels of here and there and really low and Pain is real on any given day, and suffering is inherent in living a life. So let's lean into not policing the universe and search out the intuition that the universe has for us so that we can take the lesson of the day and Let it be. Accept it. Experience some serenity in this space. Let it go. And then learn how we can maybe behave and transform in the days to come, in the moments to come in the trials and tribulations of the tomorrows that are inevitable. And I invite you to start this meditation now. And closing my eyes, let me just become present to this frequency and I'll up the, the soundscape just a bit. best to ensure that we have a comfortable position laying down or sitting up with our spine straight. Take notice of any tension that we might still be holding in our bodies, especially in our head area, including our eyes, squinching, any tenseness in our throat, our shoulders especially, but even in our forehead.
capacity to think. Let's draw our thoughts into something specific throughout the day. Where we might have spoken ill, acted ill, carried a negative attitude toward. ourselves and obsessive and over overwhelming thoughts of guilt, shame, or pity, any apathy or resentments that might still exist from the day, draw that to the surface and the state to ourselves. I accept this. I accept the consequence of this. I let go of this. And I recognize that I have an opportunity to grow from this. throughout the day that also come to mind in your acts of kindness and courtesy in your willingness to listen to others before sharing in your acts of service to others that you are good in some things every day. As we take in a big deep breath, I invite you to pull in the energy of this universe Draw into it and allow this deep breath to build within you the light, the intuition, the awareness that both the positive and the negative things that have occurred in the course of the day. I invite you then to meditate with your own experience. 
extended intuition and awareness of your own good and bad throughout the day. And draw your own conclusions in the time and minutes to come. I thank you for allowing me this time and opportunity to guide and to share this meditation with you.
acknowledgement that forgiving myself and forgiving others of their shortcomings, especially when not taking the opportunity to be authentic and express and communicate that I'm not being of service to others in the best way I can. doing my utmost, moving forward, I might be willing and grow in my willingness to communicate more effectively, intentionally, and positively, aiming to not hold contempt where others have wronged me intentionally or unintentionally. better grow in my awareness to take accountability the consequence of my shortcomings I take appreciation for this opportunity to grow in my awareness and look forward to opportunity to right where they've been wrong in the days, weeks, and months to come. I hope you've had a positive experience with your time this evening, this day, this morning, wherever you are, whenever you are. I invite you to take a last deep breath as a gift from the universe for this awareness, gratitude, and let it go. And come to, as you take your last breath out, all the way out, letting it go. been such a gift to practice this meditation process with you thus far. We have two more remaining days on this block of time before a new intention and a new series will begin. So again, I invite you, if you've not done so already, to like, comment, or subscribe. Any interactions will help this channel grow in its own purpose, which is the intention that I have behind doing this at all, is to share my practice and grow in my um, accountability to this part of my life, that I won't just do it for myself, but I have to do it for others in the spirit of giving away what I have so abundantly received as a result of my meditation practice. So thank you for all the continued support. Stay tuned.